What is up guys, we are back with some more Persona 3 Reload. The last episode was pretty intense with uh, taking down that boss and going through the hotel and whatnot. So, I'm kind of trying to power through all the social links, all the studying and all that stuff, but we got a cutscene of a text message coming from Sonata or Akihiko, so let's check it out. The Kutsuki-san is coming tonight. Sounds like he has something to tell us. We'll meet on the fourth floor once we're all back. Okay. And that's the summary of what happened on the night of the 7th. These shadows seem to be quite a bit more formidable than the ordinary ones. I see. So our enemies are growing stronger as well. Well, it's not all bad news. In fact, I called today's meeting because... Hold on. Before we go on, I'd like to ask Kirijo senpai something. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh? She's been suspicious of her for the longest. I know I'm not the only one thinking this. So much has been happening lately. I feel like I've just been getting dragged along without really understanding anything. But now, I want answers. So I'm gonna ask you straight out. You've been hiding something from us, haven't you, Senpai? You're always acting like you don't know anything about the Dark Hour or Tartarus. But they're connected to that accident ten years ago, aren't they? What accident? Yukari-chan? There was an explosion near our school and a lot of people died. It must have been big news back then. You know about it, don't you? Hope so. Yes. Luckily, no students were injured. But something is off here. At the time of the incident, there were several unexplained absences. Seems like more than just a coincidence to me. What do you mean? Well, I dug up some old school records and found something interesting. Those students weren't she just She dug absent. up the, the documents. They suddenly collapsed and had to be sent to the hospital. Sounds familiar, doesn't it? Remember those girls who bullied Fuka? They had to be hospitalized too. <sighs> I want an explanation. What really happened on the day of that accident? The Kirijo group built our school, so you have to know something. Tell me the truth. Well, I wasn't trying to hide one thing to put her on blast. Knew, it just never seemed relevant. Never yeah. seemed relevant. It's okay. It's not your fault. All right. I'll tell you everything. Shadows have many mysterious abilities. Some research indicates they can even affect time and space. We think of them as our enemies, but what if we could somehow use them to our advantage? They could be a source of unimaginable power, couldn't they? What? Fourteen years ago, one man pursued that very line of thinking. He was the former leader of the Kirijo group, Koetsu Kirijo, my grandfather. My grandfather was obsessed with the shadows. He wanted to harness their power to create something extraordinary. Create something extraordinary? To that end, he assembled a research team and had them amass a number of shadows. He was collecting them? Damn, that's freaking crazy! But ten years ago, during the final stages of the project, there was an accident. And the experiment failed. Damn. They lost control of, the of damage. power, altering the nature of the entire world. You can't mean... Yes. Tartarus and the Dark Hour. <sighs> so her grandpa and the organization are responsible for why the Dark Hour and Tartarus occur now? Because of that failed experiment? According to the records, the accumulated mass of shadows split into several large ones that later dispersed. These are the shadows we've been encountering on nights when the moon is full. But it's like a decade Maybe for them to kind of like come out and start doing their it's thing? It's difficult to predict where they'll appear. Wait a minute. If what you said is true, then why did our school turn into Tartarus? Isn't that where uh, tell me. the location... Is it because that's where they conducted yeah. the experiment? 
Yes. Then those students who were hospitalized... It's just as you fear. It was a highly populated area, and the Kirijo group had influence there. They could essentially do as they pleased. Port Island Good must detail. have been the perfect location for them. So, yes, as you guessed, the experiment ten years ago was conducted at Gekokan High School. Just what are you trying to say here? So that's the whole purpose behind Seas? We were dragged into all this just to clean up their mess? You lied to us? <laughs> and you knew too, didn't you, Sonata Senpai? You've both just been using us! Or do you not care as long as you're the one who gets to do the fighting? I yeah. never said anything like that. I have my reasons. Think what you'd like, but it was my decision not to share the information. I'm sorry. It was never my intent to deceive you, convincing you to join But it's what you did, regardless of the intent, right? It may not be fair, but shadows can only be defeated by persona users. We are the only ones who can fight. That's hardly the point. I never had a choice either. It didn't matter if I wanted this power or not. I... Mitsuru, that's enough. Takebaku. It's only those in the past who are to blame. Ooh. And they lost their lives as a result of what they did. We're all in the same boat here. None of us deserve the burden that's been thrust upon us. But that's... <sighs> now, girl, chill out. Just like Junpei needs to get the stick it's out of his ass because he talks the type of way about it. Us uh, shining so no hard over here. Why those shadows suddenly returned. But now that they're here, they so have bright. the chance to find and destroy them. Do you realize what that means? What if I told you that the 12 shadows are the cause of everything? Dun, dun, dun. You're saying if we defeat them all, Tartarus and the Dark Hour will disappear? Exactly. Oh, well, that's just a theory, right? That's what I was going to tell you earlier. A game See, theory. It's good news, isn't it? Can that really be true? There's evidence to support it. And this is where our true battle begins. Our true battle. Regardless of what's happened in the past, we must fight to protect the people. The shadows are gaining strength. We can't afford to wait for them to strike first. Right. And there are still many mysteries surrounding Tartarus. For instance, why did such a gigantic structure appear in the first place? The answers must be out there somewhere. Hmm. I still want to know about uh, Thanatos and Orphis thing that happened, you know, first episode when we summoned our persona. That still hasn't really been explained that well. We must defeat those 12 in order to eradicate both the Dark Hour and Tartarus. We must fight to protect everyone. Six of them remain. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Hmm? You. What do you want? If you're gonna ask me to go back, the answer's still no. That's not why I'm here. I was just making sure you were still around. That's so. We've known each other a long time. It's been almost 14 years since we met at the orphanage. Oh you, damn. Me, and Miki. We used to run around here until the sun went down. Back then. So did all their parents work the there at the place, maybe? <laughs> and then they all died in the accident, and that's why if you want to they went to the orphanage? Me, go do it with your other pals. What was that? It's rare for you to think about the past. Usually, you just charge your head like a damn fool. You've never been good at hiding shit. Everyone thinks about the past. Even me. Anyway. We finally know how to get rid of Tartarus in the dark hour. No shit? Oh, that got his attention. Yeah. The thing is... All I've cared about until now is getting stronger. Everything else came second. But yesterday... Someone made me question my reason for fighting. Your reason for fighting? Huh. It's different for everyone. But if you don't have a good one, you can always quit. That's yep. what I did. 
I'm not like you. The persona user. I can't believe I'm the one getting lectured here. Well, see you around. Like, is he gonna say anything in like insightful? You really haven't <laughs> changed at all. Oh no. Okay. He's not. Yes. Can I talk to you for a moment? She's like, I. She's like, I know you gave her all that information. Please come in. So not only do you excel at providing support during. See, I do it. <laughs> also quite skilled at gathering information. Oh, I, I'm sorry for doing that without permission. Don't worry, you're not in trouble. But I do have an important favor to ask of you. Oh, what's that? I want you to find out as much as you can about that incident 10 years ago. So even she doesn't have like oh, a full grasp oh, of what happened there, huh? Very little of that was made public. I know. That's why I want you to access the Kirijo Group's database. You mean hack into their system? Yes. Is that allowed? Yes. I'll give you my ID and password. Then you won't be held accountable. But I need to know the truth in detail. Senpai. Of course, I'll understand if you refuse. <laughs> okay. okay. <laughs> I'll see what I can do. As if she was going to refuse that. For sure. I appreciate it. That wouldn't be Can good for the plot. It? She's like, no, I'm not going to do Aren't it. Aren't you resentful? Regardless of my good intentions, I did drag you into this without fully explaining. I'm sure you must have at least a few complaints. Probably not. Not really. Did you know my entire family is made up of doctors? My parents are the one exception. It gives them a bit of an inferiority complex. That's why they're so hard on me. I don't like being at home. But here, I'm able to do something no one else can. I have a purpose. So no, I don't have any complaints. Okay. You're right. We can't Works for do this us. without you. No one could take your place. Uh, oh. Thank you. I'll see you later. So, Tartarus in the dark hour are on the way out, huh? <laughs> no, that's a good thing. That's what we've been fighting for. He just wants so to feel special, huh? Why? Damn it! So pissed. That's what it seems like is like the thing for him. He he just wants to feel important like the whole time. Wow, can't believe we're already third years. Guess this will be the last time we'll wear these uniforms and hang out after school. Uh, who cares? We just want to get into college and start having fun already. <laughs> I get it. My problem is me going on like fighting was my duty you know uh maybe actually it's just all i'm good at because without that without that i'm nothing <laughs> so much for being a hero i can't fight worth the shit anyway not compared to him at least man are you really a hero if uh if you're only doing it for praise and glory Everybody's going wait, through wait, it right I now. I never write about the worst things. Am I stupid for trusting in something so blindly? Dad, I got this letter from you last spring. I must have read it a thousand times since then. To my family, ten years into the future. Tomorrow, I'll bring this letter to the opening ceremony for the Moonlight Bridge. It will be stored in a time capsule. Her dad worked at the place? Sent to you in ten years' time, Yukari. May be small now, but in ten years you'll be sixteen. Be in high school. I know you've been sad because I have to work so late, but you always manage to greet me with a smile. I'm really proud of myself. Kirijo san appointed me head researcher. I'm That's why she feels so strongly about this. It feels good to receive so much recognition for my work, but I swear to you. Nothing is more important to me than you and your mother. Oh, Dad. Yukari, I wonder, 
you enjoying life? Do you have high hopes for the future? Do you still look towards tomorrow with excitement and wonder like you do now? No matter what happens in the next 10 years, I hope you're happy. And I hope this letter brings a smile to both you and your mother's faces. Eiichiro Takeba, March 6th, 2000. No matter what happens, huh? All I can do is believe. I won't turn my back. I won't be like mom. Not ever. Hmm? Well, what does that mean? <laughs> This dude just stays popping up while we sleeping though. How long has it been since we first met? Time what, passes been three so months? quickly. So tell me, how's life as a persona user? Fulfilling. <laughs> That's good to hear. I remembered something else about the coming of the end. It all stems from something that took place many years ago. Ten now everybody wants ago, to talk about this 10 year correctly. thing. <laughs> Interesting. Oh, didn't your parents pass away about 10 years ago? A persona is like a mirror, which means a persona user so, can never escape their true self. For all of us that could summon personas, are we all related to this incident that happened 10 years ago? I feel like Junpei is like the only one, I guess, now that would stand out as a persona user. Uh, cause looks like Fuka's parents, uh, well, no, Fuka's parents also don't work there as like a research. So Fuka and Junpei actually are out. So never mind, that theory's out the window. But no matter what, I won't leave you because we're friends, right? Yup. Death rank two, or oh, three, okay. Why did I forget the Good second night. rank up though with them? I think like midterm start this week, right? It better be talking about something. Yeah, we have exams starting tomorrow. So it's hard to remember everything. What if I fail again? I really wish the school would stop posting our names with our scores. Nah, that breeds competitiveness. <laughs> Don't want to be known as a dumbass? Don't be a dumbass. That's that's literally like what they're saying. Be fucking smart. <laughs> Or something? Mm, not really. An awkward silence fills the room. Um, you know, it's almost summer break. Like, are y'all not fucking with each other it's anymore because of all that news? Does anyone have any plans? I wish I could go to the beach. Hot sand, cool breeze. <laughs> Babes in bikinis. Man, a break like that sure would be nice. It's somewhere in the south, where the water is crystal clear. The south? But starting tomorrow, we gotta get through our exams. Oh man, this sucks. I'm sure you'll be fine, but it would be nice to go somewhere with beautiful beaches, like Okinawa. Well, it's not Okinawa, but how about Yakushima? You just heard us from outside like Mr. that? Mr. Chairman, I didn't realize you were here. I happen to be in the area, so I thought I'd drop by and tell you my schedule for next week. Oh, Hirinjoku, your father will be vacationing in Yakushima during the break. He... he will? <laughs> He's like, how, how you know, it, and I did. time <laughs> off after exams, right? Why don't you go and get a nice change of scenery? Seriously? We're gonna go on a trip? Yes! Beaches and bikinis! Beaches and bikinis! We know what he actually wants to say with Beaches bikinis. Beaches and bikinis? This guy. <laughs> How about it, Hirijoku? Well, my father is a busy man. I don't want to ruin his vacation. 
<laughs> Why so hesitant? No father would be upset with a daughter who came all that way to see him. You've all done a great job. You deserve to relax for a while. And we already know when the next operation will be, so I think it'll be fine. I don't know. Senpai, I'm begging you. Yeah, we got like a month, right? All right. I guess everyone needs a break now and then. Right. Let's do it. A little bit less than a month. We got till August 4th, I think. For the next full moon. The beach, huh? <laughs> I should design a special training regimen. Oh man, I can't wait! Oh, I need to go buy a swimsuit. Hey, don't worry. I got one you can borrow. <laughs> this dude. Are you going to swim too, Mr. Chairman? I'm afraid I can't. I'll turn to dust if I'm exposed to sunlight. Wait, seriously? Don't be stupid. Weird as hell. to say sorry about the other day. Yeah, you better I apologize. I've gotten a little carried away. Don't worry about it. In a way, it's only logical that we go to Yakushima. The chairman said that no one who was responsible for the accident survived, but there is one who did. Her dad? What? There is? My father. I had no idea. Not like you know everything, right? She's so nosy. So we just finished up the exam week. Uh, didn't want to show you guys like the questions because it's stuff we've answered in class before. Days of testing are finally over. The sun is shining bright. So how'd you do? You are not gonna believe this. I aced PE. Well, that pretty much answers <sighs> my question. <laughs> A real man it's like super close. disappointed. <laughs> I'm already thinking ahead to the blue skies of Yakushima. Oh yeah, that's coming up soon, huh? Are you all ready to go? Yeah, I guess I should start getting ready too. Oh, sorry, I don't sound very enthusiastic, do I? Hey, how about we stop somewhere on the way back? I don't have practice today. Sounds good. Where are we going? If you need to buy a swimsuit, I'd be happy to help. Very funny. All right, give me a sec. I'm gonna go grab my stuff from the locker room. Oh, I'll invite Fuka too. Hey, uh, I know I've been kind of a dick lately. So, uh, sorry. But... Yeah, dude. <laughs> I'm trying to be serious here. Let's just put this whole thing behind us. Cool? Alright. Yeah, I guess so. Just don't let that shit happen again. Won't let it slide next time. Freedom at last! What should I do now? Take it down a notch, will you? You bounce back from things so quickly, Jinpei kun. You know it. Oh hey. Sonata sons here. Don't see that every day. Ikutsuki san called me. I think he wants to talk about a new candidate. Does that mean another person is going to join? Maybe. Fuka. He actually wants to hang out, huh? What's wrong, Natsuki chan? Do you think you can stay after school with me for a mandatory study session? There's like no one. Oh wait, are you about to head out for the day? Okay then, never mind. Wait, it's all right. I'll help you. Sure, sure. Sorry, I'll see you all back at the dorm later. Better not be bullying her. We'll send you back to Tartarus. I'm really surprised at how much she's changed. Ah, friendship. How beautiful. Adolescence is such a wonderful thing. You just pulled so, up to the school like that? Sake. 
your chairman? And who the hell is this? Oh, hello. I just stopped by to pick someone up. I might as well introduce you to him now. <laughs> hello. Ken Amato. Oh, Amato kun. What are you doing here? You know him? He doesn't leave during the break because of his circumstances. Oh, I heard about that. Something about your parents, right? It used to only be me and my mom. But she got in an accident. So now it's just me. It happened two years ago. Right now, one of his distant relatives is paying for his school expenses. Okay. That doesn't mean he should stay at the elementary school dorm all by himself, right? So I decided to move him to your dorm just for the summer. <laughs> what? To our dorm? Do you really think that's a good idea? So does that mean he's a persona user then? Why, of course. <laughs> he has the potential. Then he's the new candidate? That's right. But as you can see, He's still just an elementary school student, so it's only a possibility for now. Damn, now I want to see what he can do. Are you Akihiko Sonata Senpai? Uh, yeah. I've heard a lot about you. You've never lost a boxing match. Nice to meet you. Uh, yeah, nice to meet you. Why is he acting so weird? It's just a kid, bro. Bye, school exams. Hello, summer vacation. Akashima, here we come. I can't wait for Monday. Maybe I ought to hit up Polonia, uh, Polonia Mall to get some stuff for the trip. Yes, precisely. Oh, speaking of Polonia Mall, here, take this. A black sword. What's that? Just a small reward. You all deserve a little something after studying hard for exams. Have you heard of the antique shop at Polonia Mall? It's called Mayodo. It just reopened today, actually. If you bring that to the shop, I'm sure they'll be of great help to you. How's an antique shop gonna help us? Am I missing something? I can't quite explain it very well myself. It'd be better to hear from the shop owner than from me. Well then, I'll let you take care of it from here. Antique shop at Polonia. Yep. Let's head over to that mall. Uh. I think that's what's right here now. Let's see what we got in store. Okay, you look kind of creepy. Oh, are you in high school and you're shopping here? Well, take your time and look around. Seems this lady owns the antique shop. I should show her the black sword that I got from Ikutsuki. Hmm, what's that? Here, let me have a look. So you're one of the ones Kurosawa was talking about. This is but a humble antique shop. Having said that, I believe I can be of some assistance to you. As long as I have something like this black sword, that is. This here is a base model for crafting weapons. By fusing it with various materials, you can craft special equipment. I can help with that crafting process, but you'll have to collect the required materials for yourself. These base materials can be found in places that tend to be quite unwelcoming. That's why it'll be up to you to collect them. Also, if you find any gems or like... Or the, or the like, I'd be willing to exchange them for some of my wares here. Well then, go ahead and have a gander. Alright, let's see. You can travel to conduct an item fusion item exchange. Item fusion involves expending one weapon part and a handful of required materials to create a unique piece of equipment. In the item exchange, the proprietor will take any gemstones off your hands in exchange for the items. Materials that are used in the item fusions can often be found in targets, so you'll be able to collect them as you explore. Is that like all the stuff I've been like selling? Which one? You've come at a good time. There is some new items you can create. A sword that changes attack affinity to light? Huh. That'd be interesting because then it's like you wouldn't need to have light actually like as a skill for a persona. This one. The more I study, the more I realize there's so much Damn. I don't know. These are interesting. You'll need material. Man, the, the damage goes up on these, honestly. Resist Dizzy. Magic plus five. Holy, okay. Okay. And I see that, like, you have to get these uh, items from the personas, too, for, like, the heart icons. So, 
Yeah, that's that's pretty dope there, actually. Oh yeah, that's right. So, since... So guys, I'm not gonna lie, uh, Elizabeth told us about Tartarus floor being expanded and I already wanna go explore it and hit like the next like max floor. So I'm gonna have that for the next episode guys as well as like some other cutscenes. but I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you leave a like for the video. It helps with the video a lot. Also subscribe to the channel because it lets me know you enjoy the content you see right here. But with that said, stay sharp, later.